already got infinite points. Oh, I got, I got infinite points. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. <laughs> uh, are we seeing? Nah, nah, no, 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 no way. Just... Okay, he's just above it. All right. I was going to say, I don't want to see. He is. There he is. Look at, look at the boy. There's the lonk. Yeah. There's the lonk. Oh, I saw Arthur over there. Let's go. Yeah, man. You know, it's a, I, I try to have fun. I try to have fun. All right, so we had everything but the camera. That's okay. We're going to swap the camera. Um, We're going to momentarily swap the camera. As we get into game number one, on FD once again. How you feeling about this? It's potentially slow. <laughs> Like, both of these characters have a propensity to camp. Uh, I think it, it sits more favored to Swordfighter, but playing with turn up in hands is going to be very dangerous for Swordfighter, I bet, because if you eventually close the gap, like, Swordfighter gets his little burst and that's whatever. But Peach is literally the best in this game at getting a burst of damage and then breaking to neutral. Yeah, and that, that's just so beneficial here on FD. And you see, once again, use the forward air to try and, like, bait a reaction out of Ling, get the data early, see how he behaves. But one thing that does work, at least for hindsight so far, compared to last one, I'm gonna shut up. Never mind. I want him to stay alive. I'm sorry, hindsight. I didn't mean to do this to you. <laughs> he immediately started dying after I said he was doing good. <laughs> oh my god. Commentator's cursing extra deep in the files. He's trying to. He's 100% trying to finish the curse out just for the culture. All right, here we go. So now we got a couple that Ling, right? Okay, so Ling has been doing a good job of consistently covering him on every time he gets in, uh, and it's still working. So <laughs> his ledge traps have been on point. He's been forcing him off stage, and he's outspacing him a lot. In that back immediate throw. back throw, yeah. too. That's done. Like it, it don't kill too often, but at 177 before the throw, before pummels, like you're dying. Yep. You're very dying. I mean, look, the, the Peaches will remind you of the days of uh, previous patches before where they could actually do throws at ledge and you died and forwarders. I uh, played enough player forward during that time. I don't need any more of it. Yep. No, sir, I'm good. We have like four very good pe actually like five very good Peaches out here in this uh, in these parts. So I, I heard it quite a bit, but they're still succeeding. What a weird thing that there's still such a good It's good. like that wasn't the only thing that was good about them. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Okay, excellent chase from that side. Yeah, I just realized too. I think because of Peach's floatiness, a lot of the mix-ups that uh, hindsight tries to go for at those like at these percent ranges without a platform, it's actually harder for him to get those same frame traps than he was before. That one worked out, but I can already I, you can see a little bit less confidence in the way that he's been going for it compared to like a previous set. No, yeah, that's one of the aspects why this is a more neutral stage than you would typically expect from either of these characters, because like they're both losing a lot of their key game by the lack of platform. But oh my God, excellent combo from. Ling Ling, just not in position fast enough to get, find the killing blow. Yeah, and now Ling's at the point where he can kind of just trade for free for the most part. It's like, oh, oh god, oh you god. You want this animal in your house? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Alright, there here's where things are gonna be a struggle too. He's at 122, he's down the last stock. Ling is gonna kill him for pressing too many buttons, never mind. Uh, but Ling is going to kill him for pressing too many buttons, and he yeah. made me a he made me a not a liar. <laughs> that was so like you can see the way Ling adjusts to the match compared to the people who fought him all night. I think platforms were actually so good for hindsight. And I think you were right. The stage, albeit seems like it might not be good because of Chakram, Tornado. But Ling said, well, you can't frame trap me on platforms. You can't get a kill confirm yep. off a platform. So you're forced to engage with me linear. Mm -hmm. And you know what I do better than you? Advantage to That's really what you had on him that whole set. Peach just has a naturally more aggressive sense of neutral mm -hmm. so once she does whether the storm of projectiles when she does close the distance it's really hard for sword fighter to break out of that in any safe way you just sort of hold the damage yep. if you're not holding a lot of damage you're losing all your stage control that's even worse against peach <laughs> yeah stage control be the most cru one of the most crucial things against peach because you need to make them feel uncomfortable at getting off of the ground ever now this may be good platforms for hindsight here's the thing though ling loves this stage huge fan of Battlefield. So this could end up working against them because of player comfort, but already starting things off with 53%, granted being answered right back, that was still a really good opening compared to before. Certainly. And I feel like given the stage layout, like Hindsight's choice of uh, zooms I think is really well acclimated to controlling Battlefield. As long as he controls center stage, he's cool. 
Like, yeah. his projectiles help him pressure the first layer of platforms. His normals will help him control the top platform. He's just able to box out really well on this stage. Yeah, I think the biggest thing consistently is just being able to, oh my god, looking for the hardest read and Ling just plucked his veggies like he didn't Yo, If he shit. had a real sword, that would have been a problem. Actually, effects, if that was at, like at almost every other sword character with a slightly longer range, he would have been dead. Nah, bro, I think literally even Meta Knight would have gotten that. <laughs> like, you, you're like, you're just struggling. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, Meta Knight, Ling would have been dead two times by now, too. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> oh, my God. A character that has fallen from grace, but also still cheats the game. Like, it's just, that's ultimate, actually. There's so many characters who have fallen from grace compared to previous iterations, yet they're still oh. busted. Well. That sucks. I'm trying to take out my whole desk here. <laughs> I'm trying to close the stream. <laughs> <laughs> just cut the stream. <laughs> Shut it down. Oh, we got a, one of these really nice combos earlier. It's going to be a shorter chain, but I like the fact that it's keeping the battle at the ledge. Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, like... Oh, that's Winky. Uh-oh. Oh, Winky's oh, going. All right, can you get anything off it? No, like, like I think the biggest thing so far is that even when hindsight has pressure, Ling's just enough out of space that he almost doesn't fear it. Like, he's like, well, the most you're going to get me with here is forward air or something. I'm probably not going to die to it. We'll get the eye. And now he has a three stock up lead on him as well. Is this the best of five? So hindsight can make some adjustments, but so far, oh god, is he trying to do it to him again? He got it on him last week. He got a zero to death on him last week. He so, messed up the uh, the item grab with the air dodge, though. I don't think he has a jump. Oh, he does have a jump. Okay, never mind. Wait, he's coming back to He's fine. Oh, if that dash attack hit, he would have been dead. Oh my god, dude! Like literally, everything's being called out over and over again. I I do want. I jokes aside, I do want to see hindsight make the changes though. Like I would. I love seeing progress. I love seeing people change up. Uh, I don't know if that was a DI mix-up. Try to go for opposite side floating there. Uh, you can't DI mix up a damn thing about that though. That is two game lead going to Link over the hindsight. I still can't get over the fact that I just gotta press up on a button and not type things anymore. Yeah, man. Like once we're done with stream, I'm gonna help you like optimize all the other little shits yeah. that way. <laughs> Look how much further you knock the camera this way. Yeah, People really can am. actually see the back and the paper stuff. No, it's good, it's fine. But it's it, originally it was like you could see the uh the posters. These are nice posters. Yeah, and now you can't see the posters at all. That's how far. Oh, I love this Charmander. Look at Look at his face. Yo, I kid you not. What happened? I may here? not be a competitor as much, but I'm a gamer. You want you see all those things back there? There is absolute gaming. Dude, you happening see all this? I got game. almost all of this from Dave Busters. That's hype. Yeah, because I just so like hype. farmed the shit out of a machine. The ice one though was bought. So they bought that for me. Oh, this is my stick. Yeah, uh, unfortunately that one's dead, but there's oh. another one upstairs. Big sad. That is the uh Quamba Dragon. Ooh. Yeah, it's kinda heavy, but it's really good though. Like very comfortable, inputs are good, the buttons feel great. I have the obsidian over there. That's a good start. I love the obsidian. And we got it all oh, free. Back when we were sponsored. Let's go. Farm sponsored. So, yay. That's cool. <laughs> free is the way for me. And unfortunately, free is looking kind of like hindsight. Let's see what happens Woo! if you can adjust around that dial. That's how you treat your guests. <laughs> oh, I always treat, look, this, this is all about everybody improving and messing with your boys. This is, this is just having a good time and Hindsight is not having a good time. Listen, that's just, just the realest way to put it. I do, I'm curious to see how he fixes it though. I feel like he almost is going to be forced to play a bit more to the clock than he would like. Because Ling is just playing that game of, I'm never going to interact with you yeah, first most of the time. Uh, so he tries to go for a cross up out of there and, and Ling immediately reacts and catches him with that. I love you, brother. It's good to see you, bro. Be safe. Take care of yourself. You too. Good stuff. I'm gonna screw your situation off stage, but it's what ended up with uh, Link's up in the I'm gonna get you a shot or something. Get you, get you, get you, get you uh, some, some Red Bulls. I, I, feel, I, feel, I feel the Franks drifted. I'm just watching. It's like, I don't know what to say about hindsight because currently Ling is just. <laughs> it's just, it's rough business because it's like, what are you supposed to do when, like, you're the stereotypical campy character uh -huh. and you're getting out camped? Yeah. Like, you can't outrush down Beach. What do you do? You throw yourself in harm's way because 
Flame lands a straight narrow or down tilt, you're eating double the damage you're dealing in an interaction. Yeah, it... You it, can't out-projectile turnips. It's not like all of his options have been bad. Either. Well, I mean, that one he got called on the jump on stage, but his options on aggro actually haven't been that bad. He's been trying to catch spot dodges. He tried to catch the back air at the ledge before. So it, it's there. The idea is there. It's just he just keeps missing it by like this much or a read by this much. Oh, don't, don't, look, don't stare at, do not stare at Peach while she's got a turn up in hand in the back. Hello, Josh. All right, right now this is looking like a 3-0 going to Link at the moment if Hindsight doesn't figure it out, which at the moment, currently, I don't know if he's going to be able to, but I would like to see it. Oh, yeah, listen, man, I'm, I feel like I'm always reminding people of this. I would, I'm always around for a game five. Oh, there you I'm go. always around for a game ten. Like, I want to see some good smash. Yeah, exactly. Right. 30 handshake is all well and good because it's a good display of skill from at least one player. But I'm trying to see hindsight take it back. But he needs to like figure out a way to adjust the overall game plan against each because I feel like everything that he wants to do, Ling is doing better. Yeah, exactly. Like the biggest thing is what you said before, the whole camp thing. Right there, like counteracting Ling is like in that situation is so difficult. There you go, at least true combo, but not in the window to get the kill. Trying to look for maybe a read with an up air on the platform? Yeah, you said, yeah, look, Link having absolutely nothing to do with that, and that's the smartest thing you can do in that situation. If somebody's jumping around you like that, just go up top and force them to recognize that you're not gonna interact with them in this situation. Bro, even like the little stalls that Einstein's been doing with his reflector haven't been able to do much because Peach just floats and that's her thing yeah. since she's existed. It's like, like on the real, Einstein's just playing like, a uh, more abstract piece. Yeah, I think it's mostly like he's playing a hard read match versus a conditioned match because he's not allowed to condition because most people would throw a turn up in those spots. Ling knows I'm not fearing what you have for me right now, nor do I care about reflectors. So I'm just gonna wait for you to do it first. Great to go. He's, he's, he's getting back into it. He has also survived somehow to a couple things. Oh yeah, I mean, listen, you're in a bracket. There's no reason for you to give up. Yeah, exactly. This, this, I always forget if, it, I think Beast Fighter has a KO throw at like 200. Yeah, no, he doesn't have like a real one, but forward throws are like a long time. I think down throw it, but that's at like OD percent. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very similar to Ike down throw where like the stomp will yeah, eventually go off. Yeah, a lot of the characters have that, where it's like the, the strong looking throw eventually just shoots you off after bouncing it. Well, I mean, here we go. Like, right, he, for the most part, was saying never say die. He is at 185 and he, now he's gone, so that is... Very uh, dead at 204, though. Yeah, but still, good job adjusting at those last few stocks. He, I think he started to figure out a few things at least along the way, kind of adjusting slowly. I just realized I didn't hit record on the stream again. Uh, so we're going to hit record now.